It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Our thoughts are kind of like hot wasabi. Good in really small doses. Because you get too much, you're going to have a big problem on your hands. And that's why we just give you tiny dabs of our thoughts with a brand new edition of What's On Your Mind, where we go around the room and find out what each member of the morning show has been thinking about lately, starting with Brooke. Mm -hmm. Brooke, what's on your mind? I have a bone to pick with you, Jeffrey. Uh oh. Oh, coming in hot. Okay. What did I do? What happened? Listen, listen, this Sunday is Halloween. And yeah. I asked you what you were doing. Ooh. And you happened to be coming back from your little weekend adventure, literally driving past my house. Yeah. yeah. Like, I know exactly where you're going. <laughs> right. And I said, oh, what are you doing Halloween night then? And you said, ugh, nothing. Just going back to my house. Nothing, not doing nothing. It's kind I go, of a work night. I go, yeah. well, that's great. Because you're driving by anyway. We're having a block party. There's going to be okay. trick-or-treaters. Yeah, We're going to have a bonfire. It it's going to be so mm-hmm. fun. Yeah, your neighborhood's so lit. <laughs> you should just pop by. No, thanks. Look at you. And you know what? You know what? Okay, most people would be insulted, right? Uh-huh. But I know that you're just like this like misery hermit dude who lives up on a mountaintop and just wants to hang out with his bears. Yeah. You really and do. I am not deterred. Okay. I will tell you that right okay. now. This whole like, I don't want to hang out at your party uh-huh. thing. I- I'm not, I'm not buying it. it kind of like your mother, yeah. right? You're forcing your <laughs> friendship right now. Yes, why, why do you want me there so bad? That's what I don't understand. <laughs> like, you want to get me drunk or something? <laughs> oh! Are you going to be drunk? You want me to take care of your kids <laughs> while you're passed out on the lawn? Like, not, there's some ulterior motive here. I'm not going to be drunk, A. Uh-huh. Okay? B, I don't want you to be drunk. It's not about that at all. Uh, what is it about? I just want us to bond. Okay? Yeah, I think you, it's fun. Aww. I think you're a nice person. Mm-hmm. I think you that you would together. have a good time. Yeah. And I understand you don't want to be there physically so <laughs> or emotionally so okay. no Mentally. i'm i am going to offer you a zoom oh no oh, i'm going to zoom, zoom you in <laughs> i'll zoom you in i'm going to zoom so into your you block can, party well listen <laughs> you're kind of awkward. you're kind of an introvert so i don't want to force the social interactions on you but uh-huh. this way you can still be part of it Okay. Do you want to it's it's funny how you think that I'm the sad one in this group. <laughs> You're inviting me to zoom into that. Yeah. You know, go ahead, send me the link. I oh, might yeah. I might make a zoom appearance just yeah. for you. At least log not. on for three minutes you know and then act like you Oh, sorry, my I internet. Just... Oh, uh, uh, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, but do you know what? Foot in the door. Okay. Okay. There you go. Okay. I love okay. it, Brooke. Uh, All right. I'm going to make him my friend soon. Oh, wow. This it's is fun hanging sad. out outside of work, Jeff. <laughs> it really is. I, okay. <laughs> sure. I'll believe it. Jose, what's on your mind? Well, you guys, Alexis is destroying my dating life. What? Oh, why is she what happened? Happened? Okay. Not again. So, yeah, I know. <laughs> I thought the same, Alexis. All right, here we go. So, I've been texting a girl from out of town who doesn't live in the city. Mm, okay. And everyone's been telling me, you got to start going for people outside of your zone, your comfort mm-hmm. zone, the All same right. chicks, right? Yeah. Yeah. I never yeah. date listeners and fans. This girl's a big, big, big fan. Cool. Okay. So I'm like, Thank you, you know, for listening. Give her a shot. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. And she's super hot. Just want to put okay. that out there. Like really, really pretty. Of course. Okay. <laughs> we start texting a couple weeks back and she asked me what everyone asked me. First mm-hmm. thing, she's like, okay, be honest. Have you and Alexis hooked up? Oh, people mm-hmm. ask that all the time. All the time. And I'm like, yeah. no, we haven't. We're friends. Yeah. Of course, I can see why people think that. Whatever. <laughs> and she agrees. She's like, oh, yeah, no. Um, I could totally say that. She seems like she's way too innocent for you. And I'm like, yeah, that's also true. <laughs> Rude. Okay, Not that whatever. innocent. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, and she's sweet and whatever. We move on. Yeah. The next okay. week, a week later, she sends me a long message. Mm-hmm. And she's like, Jose, I just got to tell you, I've seriously listened to your show for so long. Mm-hmm. You and I are so much alike. I already know okay. that you and I would be a perfect couple, and both Brooke, uh-huh. who she loves, and Alexis, who now she loves and says is sweet and innocent, oh, okay. would both approve. Okay. She goes, Brooke and Alexis would approve of <laughs> so me. So why is this bad? Yeah, I feel wrong? like we're helping you out. We are wing women. Yeah, yeah, she right. is constant. It, it just keeps going. Just listen to this. Okay. Okay. And by the way, she hasn't mentioned you at all, Jeff. She just keeps saying. <laughs> it's because he's not social. I'm okay, working yeah. on that. I'm working She's like, on but it. the girls will love me. The girls will yeah. love me. I listen to your show every day. I'm like, I Because get you it. and I have hooked up. So that oh, would be really weird yeah. to bring it up. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, and so then this last a couple days ago, I woke up from a text. Another long message. The messages get oh, no. longer. Mm-hmm. And it's a whole thing saying, you're probably talking to five other girls with my name right now. Like, oh, no. you probably have oh, so just, many girls just that you're like, in now your she's inbox. Insecure. And she's like, I bet, 
I bet you're even talking to Alexis in your DMs. No. And I'm like, why are you bringing up Alexis again? Oh, yeah. And so now yeah. I'm like, this girl is like jealous of Alexis or oh, she's no. just jealous I of think she just nobody. Yeah. And so I'm like, but what I'm saying is she can't stop bringing up Alexis. Why I'm can't I just find a girl who was like, well, what about maybe, that Alexis chick? Maybe her real crush is on Alexis. Oh, maybe. She's maybe, really yeah. hot, Alexis. You should hook up with this oh, girl. Oh, wow. No anyway, <laughs> options. So I don't know what to do. Do I never talk to Alexis again? How oh, am I ever going to get a date? That I, work? I don't know. You do have to hook up with Alexis. No, that way, people no, just stop no. asking about it. That is literally the and then worst. It's just that no. it's known for the I'm whole world. Not. It'll just be a one-time no. thing, Alexis, no. and then you can move one time on. Too many. So when I say yes, girls will go, "Oh, that's cool." Yeah, <laughs> you I should hook up too. I'm having a block party on Saturday. No, no. Okay, now nobody can go to the block party. Okay, now I'll show up for that. Okay. We're trying to get all of us drunk, man. Oh, no. Social media coordinator Alexis, what's been on your mind? Oh my mind? gosh. So this a few days ago I went out with a group of girls, okay? Okay. All right. nice. So there's eight of us and we didn't want to pay for an Uber home, so we just all squeezed in a car together with one like Oh, DD. sober driver, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Yes. The driver is sober and there's eight of us in a car and it's like a little car. So you're like a little clown. Uh, yeah, okay. and we hit a pothole and oh, the tire no. popped. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, too, much way way. too much yeah. weight. Too much weight. Who ate the extra <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, my God. So exactly. So we're pulled over at a gas station. <laughs> like, eight of us, no one knows how to change a tire. Oh, man. Your oh. parents did you wrong. No, nobody has AAA. What? Like, we're literally sitting out in lawn chairs oh. around the gas station Call just waiting. Call me next time. Where did you get, Where'd you get lawn chairs the trunk from? of the car. Oh. Anyway. Oh. And we don't know what to do. So two hours go by of us, like, messing with the wheel and stuff. I don't know. Whoa. We didn't know what to do. Just, what are you kicking You're just it? shaking it back and forth. You have, you have we to take the nuts off. trying tools on. Yeah, those wouldn't come off. Oh, okay. Anyway, okay. <laughs> couldn't spin them. So we decided oh, to leave no. the car for the night and we go home. Oh, End okay. up having to Uber. Okay. So we come back the next day, but this time with boys, okay? So we bring them thinking they're going to know how to do this. No. No, no they like, don't. Yeah, duh. Yeah. No, they can't figure it out either. Maybe you yeah. should have asked them if they knew it before you brought them over oh. to your car. We brought them. There's like a McDonald's next door. So like we ate McDonald's and cheered them on. Yeah. And they couldn't do it. Yeah. 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 Did they have the jack and I mean, everything? It, I, you know, have, I think it's your whole generation that doesn't know how to do that, it isn't be. it? No, Yeah, nobody could get it. And literally, <laughs> again, like another up to two hours passes. So we call more boys to come. Oh, my god. And then finally with like equal parts, girls and boys, like someone figured it out at some oh, point guys good. does anyone else feel like this tire is gonna fall off and then like 10 it. of them pile back Did you? In. but moral of the story now i think i know how to change one from seeing you these do. people do it uh -huh. or i'm gonna get triple a you need to get triple a the lesson i've learned say, from you, this you literally could have called them then and signed up and they would have oh. come out yeah. to you yeah. Yeah. i, I should have called you bro an hour yeah, maybe you, you should have come down it yeah or like one of your parents yeah yeah. Oh. <laughs> you feel like you're getting in trouble. Mad, yeah. there was eight of yeah. us in the car. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> oh, Jeffrey, what's on your mind? Well, I was at a college football game <laughs> recently. And, nice. you know, the cheerleaders were doing their thing in nice. front of our section. Heck I, yeah, bro. I'm into this already. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So this is kind of this is kind of where I'm going with this. I noticed this middle-aged guy clapping and cheering for them. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he's clearly a married man. He has oh, the okay. wedding ring on. And he's oh. just fixated on these young women. And I just got this weird feeling about it. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm wondering, like, is this okay? No. Because... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's that thing where a lot of women would get upset if they ever catch their boyfriend or their husband staring at another beautiful woman. And yeah. sometimes they'll actually call you out there or they'll just yeah. get really quiet and torture you, oh, like, yeah. secretly, <laughs> psychologically oh, about yeah, it. Yeah, no, 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 like, go cheer for your girlfriend. No, 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 no you like, don't want to bug These yet. girls are, like, 19. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. some aren't even 21 yet. And there's no official rules on how you're supposed to react to cheerleaders at these college games. Yeah. I think it'd be really helpful if they put some signs up or something. That says, like, please, if you're married, do not stare at the cheerleaders. <laughs> or if you're over 35, do not gawk at the young uh, girls. Because okay, you, that's mean, that, weird, too. Yeah, do you see yeah. the problem in society that you'd actually have to tell middle-aged men that? Yeah. Like, yeah. That's an issue. Well, mm. someone obviously should. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> I'm putting myself into their shoes. I don't think these cheerleaders want to be causing a bunch of marital problems up in the stands. Oh. No. Well, they're not actually out there to even be ogled at. But yeah. uh, that's what ends up happening. Yeah, they don't want to be ogled no. by these creepy old guys either. Society has sexualized cheerleaders yeah. and nurses yeah. and, and literally everything. Okay. <laughs> I've been in a production truck at a, like I was running graphics for a football game in yeah. college once and the old dudes on the cameras Dude, and the they'll director. Zoom in. Oh, oh, like, man. I'll no, watch no, TV and see them is, zoom in. This is 
off air oh, not that what they goes do. On the air. I mean, oh, yeah, you no. should hear what goes on off the air on the headphones. I'm just saying. Like, oh. like they're like, we got a hottie so over this section. So maybe married men just wear blindfolds. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. something. They should. Yeah. Yeah. It, say, it's bad enough <laughs> on its <laughs> own. And yeah. then the cheerleaders look up into the stands and they go, give me a D. And it's oh, like, oh, God. No. Now, now it's really gotten oh, bad. God. So Why do I got to cheer for Detroit? I don't know. What are the rules for guys looking at cheerleaders? I want to know. Yeah, the rules are just watch the game. Okay, yeah, just That's look the rule. away. I'm just going to let you know. Yeah. Yes. That's the rule. Just watch on TV. Maybe. And yeah. then stand up if the wave comes around okay. towards you. Uh, I can't That's stand. Unless you can't stand. Oh, yeah. Okay, then. Anyway, okay. Text in to 78592. Tell us what's been on your mind. It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning.